Guerlain Chichere is about to take his souped up mini for a spin, a big spin. You only get really one shot at it. So that's what's so cool. Fasten your seat belts and prepare to be amazed. I got nothing to say, and this was just freaking awesome. The control you need to be able to pull this off is huge. So seriously, well done to these guys. I don't think we all realize how close to a disaster it actually could have been. So how did Guerlain keep his fantastic flip from turning into a fatal flop? The calculations are based on how fast the car's going, what angle it leaves the ramp, and how strong gravity is. That's about it. He's got to be going somewhere between 54 kilometers an hour to 62 kilometers an hour. Anywhere in that window would be fine. Outside that, there's going to be trouble. Once you know the speed at which the back wheels leave off the ramp whip, then you can easily calculate the angular momentum, and you'll see how many flips it's going to do before it reaches the other ramp. OK, so he's done the math, but what's actually making the car flip? As the car drives up the circular ramp, the last thing in contact with the edge of the ramp are the back wheels. Those back wheels want to keep going on a straight line, and it is exactly that force that makes the car rotate and flip. Gurleon's prepared for four years for the jaw-dropping stunt. He's now the first person to successfully backflip a car. How can he top that? If he gets up to 87 kilometers an hour, he'll have enough time to do two complete flips before he lands. Now that would be amazing.